Good day, everyone. Um, one of the big questions that I get often when we recommend directional antennas is, but is the tree or the field or the, you know, the bushland or something in front of me not going to be a problem? Um, so the, the way I respond, and which is, you have to think about it physically, is the bush or the tree is a problem even before you put the directional antenna there. So I'm going to do a, just a basic demonstration. It's, it's just a um, visual demonstration, but to show you what, what happens and what, um, what you can and cannot do and how you should think about these things. So first of all, here's the house. This is, this is your property or any property. There's the bushland in between. It could be a big tree, it could be a mountain, it could be anything. So there's Darth Vader. And then on this side, you have the actual transmit tower. So it's the base station. Um, that you are trying to connect to from your house. So if you look from the base station, you look this way, you basically see Darth Vader and behind it, there's a house. If you look from this side, which is you, all you can basically see is the bush, is the tree, is Darth Vader. Nothing else you can do. That's already a problem. So regardless what you do, that's your problem. So if you say, oh, I have a bad signal inside my house or even have a bad signal outside my house, that's the problem. This is the source of the problem. Now, if you then take a directional antenna, now just say this is a directional antenna, you put that on, suddenly a lot of customers or users see the problem. Now they say, well, I have a directional antenna, but this is going straight into that bush or that tree. That's not going to work. Correct, but incorrect. With or without this antenna, that effect of the actual tree or the bush is already a problem for you in this space where you are. So by adding, say, 5, 6, whatever, 12 dB gain, you are adding 12 dB gain to what is a problem. So you will be that much better, what this antenna does, to not having that antenna at all. So you are just in this end-to-end -end link from there through the losses, this thing, and what you get here, this is adding to your system, adding gain. Now, a lot of people would say, but can I use an Omni? So there's a little Omni antenna instead, because the Omni feels like that could see anything from this side or it can see something from this side. Yeah, no. I mean, I understand the logic. And if I was a big mountain standing here or there's something else, there could be reflections coming through and then reflects around the bush coming in here. That might be the case but you can't bargain on that and it's very unlikely that it's going to help you a lot of people might have a success story um, some people might have a heel here and they get reflections from the heel but then again it comes back to the original problem that the antenna the omni antenna will still be slightly weaker in its performance than a directional antenna can ever be i would much rather take a directional antenna in that case and if somebody says but i seem to get a better signal from from a mountain here or there's a big shed that's just reflecting for whatever reason and that's why it needs to be per site you need to study and understand the problem i would rather take a directional antenna that has better gain in a direction and find where the best signal comes in now a bit of a dangerous um dangerous game to play is mimo and all those um extra um, techniques that they developed over the course of the years to get the um, throughput better, to get the reliability better, to get the sensitivity better. They are there to help overcome a lot of these obstacles with reflections and obs obstructions like this. They still like to have a best good signal and the best good signal is straight from there to there because this thing in the 2x2 MIMO would have two antennas coming straight through and you are trying to receive two signals. So. If it was clean line of sight, if this thing wasn't here, that would be a, a, a really good link. Now you have a problem and we start to rely on reflections and we try to decipher what comes through the trees and still ends up there. Um, by deciphering and adding, actually doing a lot of um, mathematical um, calculations, you can get the original signal close to what you wanted back again. But it would take more computing power. It would basically, you know, it's going to cost you a lot of extra energy, which translates to bandwidth. So you have to think about physics. Now, the obvious way, what you can do, if you can't move the antenna left or right around the tree, now this is a silly example because you only have one tree, so it's quite easy to say, well, let's just sidestep this, but assume this is a complete tree. The one silly thing to do is just go over, see how high you can go, and that, that does work quite well. So I would, in this case, just move um, the antenna higher. So it goes way up, over, there we go. Now, if all goes well, I'm 
over the canopies of the trees and I can see the other one and from the other side I can see the camera which in that case I would install my antenna there and that's that's what you would do go higher oh, that's really it so I guess the question was does the um, direction antenna not suffer with a tree or canopy or an obstruction yes it does but that problem is already there it already was a problem so that's really my key message coming into this and omni doesn't um doesn't give you an opportunity to get the signal from elsewhere because that thing still talks in a straight line to this one plus some odd reflections and diffractions what you might get through the trees through other obstructions on that side but the strongest signal is the direct path unless there's um like, like water water might be a a strong reflector but um, you can't bargain that still directional antenna is going to be your your best bet that's about it um, so thanks for watching um, if you have any questions or comments do um, let me know on this video um, this is a yeah this is a growing channel and that of course quite interactive so if you have any comments or questions do let me know um, please subscribe if you haven't done so yet if you need any um, products feel free to look on our website rfshop.com.au um, we also offer uh, well, consultancy design services installation services um, and support after sale support as well if you are overseas happy to just have technical conversations about these products and the situations you might face thanks for watching and see you again later cheers bye bye